Have you ever felt um, just stuck with your email client? Like it doesn't quite fit how you work. Yeah, maybe it feels a bit clunky or it's missing that one thing you really need. Exactly. And finding the right one, well, it can feel like there are just too many options out there. It definitely can. Uh -huh. And that's why we decided to do a deep dive into a really helpful YouTube comparison we found. It looked at two big names, Mailbird and EM Client. Right. So our goal today is pretty straightforward. Pull out the key takeaways, compare what they offer, and uh, help you figure out which one might actually be the best fit for your specific needs and workflow. Okay, sounds good. Let's uh, let's start with Mailbird then. What's the immediate impression? I know people talk about its look, especially on Windows. Absolutely, the interface is, well, it's sleek, it's modern, very intuitive, that's a big plus right away. But beyond the looks, what's the core idea behind it? I think what's really interesting is how it focuses on bringing everything together. Yeah. That unified inbox is key, managing multiple accounts, you know, Gmail, Outlook, all in one stream. Yeah. And they have some neat features built around productivity, like a speed reader to get through emails mm -hmm. faster. Speed reader. Interesting. Yeah. And attachment reminders, which, let's be honest, we all forget sometimes. Plus, those integrations are a big deal. Slack, WhatsApp, even ChatGPT now. It's really built to be this stylish um, central hub. So it sounds like it's aiming for efficiency, keeping you inside the app rather than jumping around. Exactly. Minimal context switching. So who's this really perfect for then? My first thought is maybe freelancers or uh, small business owners who are using lots of different apps. I think you're right on track there. Someone who values that smooth experience, the design, and needs those integrations to work seamlessly. It's about feeling efficient without you know, getting lost in complicated settings. Got it. Are there any downsides? Well, the big one is no native Mac OS support currently. That's a deal breaker for many Apple users. Right. And maybe, just maybe, if you're a real power user needing super complex email rules, it might feel a little light in that specific area. Okay, that makes sense. So, Mailbird for sleek integration. Now let's switch gears. What about EM Client? You mentioned it, and it seems like a different beast altogether. It really is. The first thing that stands out is its availability. Windows, Mac OS. Mm -hmm and now even Android and iOS. That cross-platform aspect is huge. That's much broader reach, so it caters to people working across different devices. Definitely, and it positions itself as more of a uh, powerhouse for customization and control. Yeah. It supports basically all major email services. Powerhouse, okay. What kind of power are we talking about? What features make it stand out? We're looking at things like um, email scheduling, sending emails exactly when you want them to land, Robust encryption, which is crucial if you handle sensitive information. Security, right. Yeah, and even things like instant translation built in. Plus, that sidebar is quite comprehensive. Calendar, tasks, contacts, all integrated. Mm. It's trying to be your complete productivity suite, not just email. Hmm. So less about just integrating other apps, more about having those core productivity tools built in. Precisely. It's a different philosophy. So if Mailbird is maybe for style and streamlined workflow, EM client sounds like it's for someone needing serious control and uh, maybe more advanced features. I'd say that's fair. It's probably ideal for professionals, power users, mm. maybe businesses that need that deeper control, the strong encryption, or just access across absolutely everything. Well, they may trade-offs with EM client. Well, the interface might feel a bit less modern or minimalist compared to Mailbird. Some people might find it a bit dated, though it's very functional. Function over form, perhaps? Yeah, perhaps, yeah. And the free version limits you to just two email accounts, so you'd likely need the paid version for heavier use. But for users who need that deep customization, that trade-off is often worth it. Okay, so let's boil this down. When you put them side by side, what's the key takeaway for someone listening right now trying to choose? Well, Mailbird's strength really lies in its user-friendly design, that unified inbox, and its focus on integrating external apps smoothly. It's about uh, simplicity and style. Making email feel less like a chore, maybe? Exactly. Whereas EM Client, uh, its advantage is really in flexibility, that wide cross-platform support, and the sheer depth of features for power users who need advanced controls and customization. More of a command center. Right, a command center versus a stylish hub. Your choice, really hinges on what you value more in your day-to-day. -day. So it comes back to the listener, doesn't it? Are you prioritizing that sleek, simple, integrated experience you get with Mailbird? Or do you need the robust power 
the cross-platform reach, and the deep customization that EM Client offers. Yeah, think about your workflow. Do you want that stylish hub for quick comms and app links? Or do you need that deep dive productivity suite with really granular controls? Ultimately, the best choice isn't the one with the most features. It's the one that actually empowers your specific way of working. Exactly, yeah. the one that fits you.